Tuesday. <laughs> hey guys, that's my cat Tuesday. She's my little girl. Napoleon is around here. Where's Napoleon? Napoleon's sleeping on the floor right now. Tuesday, I'm gonna need you to go somewhere. I'm doing a video. <laughs> What up everybody, this is Chris from ShotBotAirobot.com. It's been a minute, but I'm back. I'm not gonna promise any consistency, just gonna tell, besides just content, that's all you're gonna get. I'm not gonna be like, I'm posting every week. Who fucking knows, bruh? I post when I post. So with that, we're gonna come back strong. We starting with what's in my bag. Everyone loves it, everyone digs it. Let's get into it, boom. So I'm gonna actually, so I'm gonna do a video actually about my different bags and the purpose of them. But for now, we're gonna go with this tried and true. Own a Brixton. This is what I use for my shoots. Um, anytime where I need to take uh, both my bodies and my lenses, this will be the bag on my side. Weddings, paid portrait of, uh, portraits, um, sessions. Um, events, stuff like that. This is the bag I usually have because it carries all my gear. It stays on my side. It's not too heavy though. My shoulder gets a little tired at the end of the day, but I like to have my stuff ready to swing around and get into immediately. So that's my thing. So with that, my main workhorse body, like if I'm shooting in the studio, if I'm tethering in the, on the field, um, if I'm doing any video, my main body currently is the X-T2. With that, I have paired with the kit lens, the 18 to 55, 28 to F4. If I'm doing studio and stuff, I don't need the low um, depth of field. So I will use that because F5, 6, SO on, not an issue. And they're pretty sharp wide open too. So I'm not too upset. I'm not upset about that. But I'm, I'm rarely using 18 at 28 at that point. So it's not a big deal. Um, but when I do need that low, at the field i got this baby let's block my face and see if we can um focus on that there we go yeah you see that that's the 5612 i've had this for a little over a year now uh here and mm, this, this is the original too so it's not the new one that's coming no i've got no pre-production clearly you see my subs you know i ain't got that pre-production stuff for the new one that's coming out buttery auto focus is a tad slow so if you're doing moving stuff you got to be prepared you got to be prepared to pan or something like that with it but overall i've gotten mm, buttery results with this lens so if this is considered a workhorse i don't even know what to call this this is my everyday camera my one and only my favorite camera that i've ever used and i take it with me literally everywhere and we'll talk about that in my bag video your boy got the X100V. Yes, your boy got the X100V. Um, I've had it for about four months now. Did I get it at the beginning of the year? I don't recall exactly, but yes, X100V. Um, got it in black. I actually wanted it in silver, but again, there's always on back order. So I just happened to get lucky, go to Adorama and see it was on sale. Uh, that they got these in stock because literally the day before they were not copped it immediately and this is the first time I've ever had a new camera I've never had a new camera before like <sighs> um, I have a strap called I think it's called the Italy strap or the Italy camera strap I'll definitely have the links in below but it does have the, the peak design on here so I'm able to pop these off and real quick pop it back on if I get some more Peak Design anchors, I can put it on the other camera. That way I can switch the strap around uh, or buy another one and be good. Um, but I love this camera. It's got the little hood on it, the hog uh, hood on there, the cheap, bon the cheap John dog. We're not paying $60, $70 for hoods, for lens hoods here. Um, I do have the little uh, filter, the UV filter as well that goes on this that makes it a uh, water water resistance whatever so if you know our weather resistance excuse me so if we're out and about starts snowing starts raining i pull it out the bag slap it on completely weather resistant uh body at this point 23 f2 and yes i do use this on location for paid jobs paid portrait 
jobs, weddings, etc. I use this camera. This is my first camera that I reach for for almost everything. Um, if I'm in a studio because I need to, t because I'm typically going to be tethering and I don't need low depth of field, then I will use the XT2 just because it's got the battery grip and I'm tethering, so I don't have to, you know. I just want, I don't want to have to worry about switching out lenses if I don't need the low depth of field. I'm just going to stick with that. But everything else, even in studio too, I will use this because of course I want to get some BTS stuff and everything. But um, this is my go-to camera and it is part of my system. It is not just my EDC family. No, I'm using this for paid jobs. And with that new 23 F2 lens, it works for me. It works, bro. It's so sharp. Mm. 200 300 percent were good so with that when i got into this body i kind of bought into the system so i do have the tcl this gives it the equivalent of a 33 i believe so about a 50 millimeter field of view which is great because my main lens before i got rid of it was 35 f2 majority of my uh, library was sat with that lens so this is going to be for when I'm shooting portraits with this camera, I will use this a lot. If I need that 50 millimeter equivalent field of view, which I do enjoy, then I use that. And then if I need that bokeh, 5612 right here. But this right here, F2, is really sharp. That was one of my main concerns. Is this another piece of glass on top of here? Is it going to be sharp enough? I'm going to post a couple samples. You see that it very much is. 100% I'm looking at dog, I'm counting dog fur, bruh. All right, now I have the WCL as well. Now, mine's a little different though. I don't have the uh, WCL 100, I have the WCL X70. This is, I wanna say, gives you the equivalent of a, I wanna say a 19 millimeter, I, I think, or like a 17, I forget exactly. I will, of course, you know, little caption overlay here once I hear, but it's actually a little bit wider than the WCL X100. However, mad cheap. Um, you can find these out there for around a hundred bucks. I got this actually for like 70 bucks shipped from Japan. And so, yeah, you, it's the X70 version of the WCL and it slides on here. And um, I do have the little if you see that little piece of tape right there, I do have that little piece of tape, which is, that is the little mod that makes it so that when you slide these on the X100F or the V, it reads which converter it is. So it just automatically says, okay, I see that you're plugged here. And it will automatically, um, it will automatically uh, adjust your JPEGs for you. Now that's only to the JPEGs. You will still have to edit your RAW and get rid of distortion. However, because the camera reads it, when you go look at your RAWs, it will say 19 millimeter, 33 millimeter. Like it's going to read the other ones. Now that's said, I think this is really, like I said, this, I think it's like a 17 or 16 millimeter. I will again, notate what it is exact, what it is actually, but it reads in capture one as the, the, the BCLX100, so it's going to read as 19, but you know, the distortion fixes are the same, so keep that in mind. So, this is my kit right here. I kept the real light, you know, we got the accessories, yeah, we got the SD card reader or SD card holder, excuse me. We keep nothing but the goodness in here. Um, as you can see, all black cards, the SanDisk Extreme Pro cards, that's all I use. Um, these are 32s here. Um, I have my large ones, my 64s, and my 128 in the cameras right now. Uh, I've got some stickers. You know, I put my stickers on everything. That's how I keep track of my batteries. I put the stickers on here. Face up means they're charged. Face down means they're dead. Besides that, like everything else is the same here. Nothing crazy. Still using the owner Brixton for my main shoot bag. I have other bags. We're gonna make a whole video on just bags. Why I have them, what I use them for. Because, you know, you get tired of using the same bag. The bags get heavy and things like that. But that's it. It's relatively simple. This is my kit now. X100, WCL, TCL, XT2, 18 to 55, 56 millimeter. Occasionally I break out the 135 to 8 old film lens 
But that's my gear. That's it, bro. That's what I'm making money with. Can you believe it? Like I got, I will talk about accessories later in another video because I have some thoughts on what you should spend money on when it comes to third party versus OEM accessories. But overall, I'm doing like this is what we're shooting with and this is what we're making money with. I'm very happy to say that the only thing I might upgrade in the future is I can see myself replacing this XT2 with an XT3 or maybe a 4 if the prices go down enough just so I have matching sensors so that I know my editing will hit the exact same, but also to give me the option to have um, classic negative on my can on the, my main main body, but I don't really use classic negative that much, but it also be, could be again because I don't have the option to use it on both cameras. But this is my kit, I'm loving it. And like I said, this is not, this is EDC, whatever you wanna call it. Like I don't leave the house without this camera love it get you one fuji holla at your boy peace